Hello, hello, and welcome to class. Today is gonna be a fun, fast-paced strength training class where we're gonna be focusing on connecting our breath with our movements. So we're gonna build a lot of heat from the inside out. Maybe you can even start to feel the heat here in Ecuador in this bamboo cabin that I'm gonna be sending to you. It is quite toasty here. So let's bring up the heat on both sides of the internet and have some fun with class today. All you need today is your mat, your body, and your breath. So whenever you're ready, let's begin in a high plank. Spread the fingers wide. Shoulders come over the wrists. Tuck the tailbone under. Engage the core. Start to pull your toes a little bit closer to your wrists. And then really push the ground away. So instead of sinking the chest down towards the ground, see if you can create as much space as possible between the ground and your chest. Start to rock forward and back over the wrists. A little wrist warm up. And then rock forward and stay forward as much as you can without any sensations of pain. So if you feel pain, then back off. Hold here, four, three, two, one, back to plank. Now keep the rest of the body as it is, fully engaged. Lift the knees, engage the quads, really push the ground away. Keep that hollow body shape with the front side and then start to come onto the fingertips with your right hand, make sort of a tent and then press up with the left. Lower down with the right, lower down with the left. Lift, lift, lower, lower, lift, lift, lower, lower. Three, two, one. Now switch, left hand lifts, right hand follows. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lift, lower, lower. Great, three, two, keep the core strong. Last one. Beautiful, lift the hips, downward dog. Readjust your stance. Maybe pedal the legs. Press the chest towards the quads. Spread the fingers wide. And press down with the base of the index finger and the base of the thumb. So if you see that your hands are tenting up, then press down with the inside part of the hand. Beautiful. Straighten both legs. If you need to bend, you can. We're going to start to lower both elbows down towards the ground. Let them hover above the ground as if you're coming into dolphin. And then press it back up. Let's do four more. Lift. Lower down. Lift. Last three. Two. If you need to bend the knees, you can. Last one. Beautiful. Lower the elbows all the way down for dolphin pose. Press the chest towards the quads. Maybe the heels lift up, that's all right. Now make sure that your hands are about shoulder distance apart and you're gonna gaze forward, shift forward, and we meet in chaturanga. Both arms together, so the shoulders do not come lower than the elbows and the elbows are reaching in towards the rib cage. Pull it back, dolphin. Let's do two more. Shift it forward, chaturanga. Pull it back. Last one. Great job. Back to dolphin. Inhale, right leg lifts to the sky, three-legged dolphin. Really reach with your right heel up towards the ceiling. You're almost trying to create a straight line from your right heel down to your head. Feel that stretch in the left calf. Maybe you're starting to shake. Me too. It's all good. Gaze forward, shift forward, one-legged chaturanga. Press it up, one-legged plank. Exhale, right knee to chest. Hold here, push the ground away. It's almost like a resting pose, right? Great job, hold it here. Flex the right foot, step it between the hands, pyramid pose. Left foot is about 45 degrees out. Keep a little micro bend in the right knee. Inhale, find length in the spine. And exhale, melt down over the right leg. 
option to keep the fingertips on the ground next to the right foot. You could also let them hover or you can interlace the hands behind the back and send them up over your head. We're here for three breaths. Make it good. Slow down the breath. Release the hands if you had them interlaced behind you. And shift forward, warrior three. Left leg floats up. Palms at the heart. Lift in the chest. Retract the shoulder blades together. And flex the left foot. Engage the left quad. So it's like a plank of wood from the crown of your head to your left heel. Cactus the arms. So the forearms are parallel to the ground, basically. And then start to bend both knees. The left knee taps the outside of the right calf, Shiva squat. Bring it right back up, warrior three. Let's do four more. Keep the arms lifted. Last three. Steady with the breath. Two. Last one. Back to warrior three, palms together, hands at the heart. Come all the way up to standing, left leg shoots straight out in front of you. Palms reach out, facing forward, extend the arms down to the ground, and then really engage that left leg, bring it as high as you can. So now if you notice that you're leaning back in order to get the lift of the leg, see if you can pull your chest forward, stand nice and tall. Two more breaths here. Now either with the hands or without, you're gonna lower all the way down, pistol squat. Take your time, move slowly. Beautiful. Once you're there, bring the left foot in and then switch, right leg shoots out. Bring the right leg in, left leg out. Little hip mobility drill, switch over to the right. Let's do two more each side. Nice and slow with control. Last one with the right. And step the foot back, Malasana Yogi Squat. Both elbows inside the knees, sit nice and tall. Soften the breath. Release the hands back down to the ground. Step the feet back, high plank. Lift the hips, dolphin pose. Gaze forward towards the thumbs. Make sure again that your wrists are about shoulder distance apart because you know where we're headed, <laughs> that beautiful chaturanga. So let's do three, forward and back. Move with the breath, inhale, shift forward and bring it back. Beautiful, back to dolphin. Inhale, left leg to the sky, three-legged dolphin. Pause here. Keep that left leg straight, lift it as high as you can. Shift forward, one-legged chaturanga. Press it up, one-legged plank. And left knee to the chest. Hold here. Push the ground away. Flex the left foot, step it between the hands. Pyramid pose. Lengthen the spine. And exhale, melt down over the left leg. Again, option to interlace the hands behind the back. Or you can just keep them on the ground. Up to you. Your practice, your body. You don't have to do everything I'm doing. 
can always modify the practice so that you make sure you're getting what you want out of it. I'm just here to guide you and give you suggestions along the way. Release the hands back down to the ground if you had them interlaced. Take an inhale, halfway lift, and then make your way into warrior three. Right leg shoots back, palms together, hands at the heart. Lift in the chest. That right leg is fully engaged. So lift the right knee in order to engage the right quad. Send all the energy out the right heel. This time extend your arms straight out beside you. And then as you lower down for this Shiva squat with the right knee to the outside right calf, and as you lift back to warrior three, I'd like you to lift the backs of your hands up towards the sky as high as you can. And then bring it back down, Shiva squat. So you're almost like flapping wings like a bird. Let's do two. Last one. Great job. Back to warrior three. Palms together, hands at the heart. Rise up to standing. Right leg comes straight forward. Beautiful, we're here for five breaths. Arms down at your sides. Stand nice and tall. Last breath. Slowly lower down, pistol squat. Maybe without using the hands. Beautiful. Step the right leg back, switch it to the left. Left foot back, switch to the right. Let's just do three more each side. If you fall down, just come right back up. It's great. Have some fun with it. Play around. Movement in the body is always exploratory and fun. It's cool to see what shapes you can make up. One more to the right, last one to the left. Beautiful, back to Malasana Yogi Squat. Heel toe the feet out, arms come inside the knees. Beautiful, release. The hips down to the ground, bring the feet a little bit farther forward so they're about hip distance apart. Bring the hands behind you, fingertips point towards the heels, and then lift the hips up, reverse tabletop. Start to rock the body forward and back gently, just enough to where you feel that stretch in the shoulders maybe in the wrists, keep the glutes engaged. Slowly lower the hips down. And we'll do a counter stretch for the shoulders. Uh, it's a modification of a yin pose called bow tie. So you're gonna cross your right arm on top of your left, keep both arms straight. And then you're gonna bring the backsides of the forearms to the outside of the knees or thighs. And then with the help of the legs, gently open the legs up, lean the chest forward. And release, switch the arms, left arm on top. Last breath here. And release. Start to lower the body down all the way onto your back. And take happy baby. So you could either hold on to the outsides of the feet or you could hold on to the backs of the hamstrings. 
gently rock left and right. Maybe extend one leg and then the other. Release the legs, hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Be proud of yourself for showing up today, for putting in the work, for doing your best. I'm so proud of you. Release the legs. Make your way into Shavasana. And I know you probably want to just hit pause and run away during Shavasana, but it's really important. We'll only do one minute here. You can do one minute. Join me. Come onto your back. Tuck the shoulders under. See if you can add one more second to each inhale. One more second to each exhale. With every exhale, just imagine yourself melting into the floor. Take this time to consciously slow down your breath, to shift from your sympathetic nervous system, that fight, flight, or freeze, into your parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest. So put all of your attention on the breath. There's nowhere for you to go, nothing for you to do. I'll tell you when it's time to come out. So for now, just relax and breathe. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring yourself back into your body. Arms reach up overhead. Take one last stretch. Fingertips to toes, just like a good morning stretch. Mm. Bend the knees. Roll onto one side. Gently press yourself up to a seat. You can keep the eyes closed or you can open them. Reach both arms up over your head, palms touch at the top. And bring the hands down to the heart. Gently bow your head down towards your hands. To honor yourself for showing up today, for putting in the work that it takes, for finding some movement in the body becoming the witness to the mind. What a beautiful journey you are on. And I'm so proud of you. Have an amazing day ahead. And I'll see you here again tomorrow for another class. Lots of love. Namaste.